Well, this year marks 50 years since what's now considered breakthrough research started in San Diego by a pretty familiar name. ABC 10 News reporter Adam Campos joins us for a look inside the frozen zoo. And, and Adam, I desperately want to make a <laughs> Jurassic Park joke here. Like, I really have no idea how much I want to make that pun. But the work that the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance has done with this is pretty remarkable. It really is. And it was so fun to be able to go inside and speak to the research and, and researchers and see how they do all of this. Now, if you're a longtime Chargers fan, you may recognize the name Benershka. Well, the father of former Bolts kicker Rolf Benershka is the man behind, behind this. His name is Kurt, and his work is a major game changer to this day. Because of what he did by saving this material, this collection now becomes extremely important, ever more important as the extinction crisis grows because again, we've captured the genetic diversity of these species. So inside the tanks that you saw, that's the frozen zoo. Each one has racks full of living cells, sperm and egg of more than 1300 different species, including some animals that are extinct. It's the largest collection of its kind in the world, and they're kept at negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent the cells from degrading or growing. And these little cells can teach us a lot. The zoo uses them to learn about an animal's genetic makeup, and they're also studied to help humans with cancer research. But most importantly, this gives the zoo the chance to clone endangered or extinct species and reverse some of the damage of climate change. We have, as a species, an enormous opportunity to change our impact on the world because humankind has been causing the loss of species. Humankind can now stop that process. And the goal over the next few decades is to get these types of labs to more and more countries around the world. And the Wildlife Alliance plans to lead that charge. Jared, 